Hi, my name is Conrad Coleman. I'm originally from New Zealand, but I now live in France. And I'm a professional yachtsman. And I've raced around the world three times. And that is why I wanted to uh, participate in the climate relay. Because the last time I raced around the world, I didn't use any fossil fuels. And I wanted to use that as a symbol of the coming energy transition. And I think that the, the climate relay is an awesome way of, of getting hundreds of people all around the idea to individually contribute to a much larger goal, which is in fact what we need to do to tackle climate change. So yeah, potentially we go, go in, drop, upwind, tack around, jibe, and do another approach like this. Yeah, yeah. You gotta pick up a button. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, see you shortly. Uh, cool, okay. Right. So I have the breakwater in sight. So this lap we're showing them the thing. Hi, I'm Pam Lee. I'm Irish um, and I live in France. I'm an offshore sailor and I participated in Climate Relay because I believe um, we're so lucky with our sport to spend so much time in the ocean and in nature that we should be really acutely aware of the impacts of climate change. And also our sport provides us with a great avenue for communicating the important story and the important ideas behind uh, what we need to do for climate change. Hello! I'm going to drop this in the water, okay? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm Natasha Gonzalez. I'm from Costa Rica. I'm a filmmaker. And I believe in each individual finding their own way of leaving the smallest carbon footprint on Earth as they can. Um, I sailed around the world with my family without an engine for a decade. Uh, so that was kind of like my way of doing it. And it's been a lot of fun to do this Climate for Relay uh, project of running out of time with Conrad and Pam. Um, it's been a blast. Do you have her in sight? No. No. The row is right there. She's going to drop the bag with the button. I'm going to try and catch it with this float hook. Ah. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. That girl deserves a pint and something warm to eat. And uh, I'd just like to say that we are currently on course, directly to Calais. We'll see you there, team. Thanks very much. So, we have the baton fished out of the water by uh, Dear Pam here on our first, first try. We have a GoPro here so we can film our crossing. And then crucially, inside, oh, what a beauty. We have the baton and um, it is going to be carried by hundreds of people all the way uh, from Scotland to Egypt. And this is so cool to participate in this incredible journey, uh, to contribute our voice to the, um, to the battle against, uh, against climate change and, and holding people accountable from COP26 to COP27, but also that individual action counts. We're here on a sailing boat uh, carrying it from Dover to Calais and then hundreds of other people are going to carry this, walk it, swim it, sail it, thousands of miles across mountains, uh, over glaciers, and then finally down into the Red Sea. It demonstrates that we all have a part to play, both in our own actions and also keeping the governments on task to make the serious changes at the big scale. Here we go. To finish up our leg of the relay, we had to slowly, slowly fight our way across the English Channel in light winds with strong currents, but eventually we ended up next to the, the beach that was next to the port of Calais. There, champion junior windsurfer Charlene came out to, to greet us, and we did the relay handover one to the other uh, as we sailed past each other in opposite directions. Now it's going to be picked up and run cycles all the way to Sharm el-Sheikh for the COP27. 